I also might not seem to be that much useful when compared to the mighty aperture and shutter speed. Imagine you're in a low light condition and you want to freeze the motion of a very fast moving object. Set the aperture to the lowest f-stop value to let in more light, then set a high shutter speed to freezeify the scenario. But um, the picture comes out something like this. Well, that has not been expected. So what to do now? That's where ISO comes in, International Standardization Organization for the standard measurements of the ISO speeds. So what ISO does is that it rescues you out of these tight situations by increasing the brightness of the photo virtually. As the ISO speed increases, the brightness increases proportionally. ISO scale starts at 200, increasing by increments of 100 or so all the way to 3200 which is the maximum. Although some high-end DSLRs have a maximum of 6400 and a lowest of 100 which is the base ISO. Now you might say, Okay then, ISO is great, I can turn off the lights and take a high quality selfie, that's cool. No, it's not. The extra brightness does come at a cost known as noise which may make your photos look like more pixelated in a way. That clearly doesn't look good. This can be avoided by adjusting the aperture and the shutter speed. While keeping the aperture wide open, you can tweak the shutter speed settings by setting a very slow shutter speed to ensure the sensor collects enough light to light up the photo. But remember to use a tripod this time. Check out the videos on aperture and shutter speed to know why that is important. With all that said, now you can get the same or even higher brightness but with lower ISO, meaning a higher quality image. Professionals recommend to stick around the base ISO which is around 100 to 3 or 400 unless you are left with no other options rather than increasing the camera's sensitivity and getting lower quality image. So that's all about ISO. Let me know which settings work best for you in the low light in the comments below. See you next time right here. Thanks for watching.